Joining me today is Luke of ITC, and we're going to be talking about us with, with you, aren't we, this particular product. But before we do, tell us a little bit about Widia and the relationship. Yes, all right. So we obviously, obviously offer a full portfolio ITC. Um, um, to enhance that, we use Widia. Um, they're constantly bringing new products to market, a lot of product innovation. Um, here's one. It's a economical variable helix. Um, we've had some really good success with this in steels, cast iron, stainless steels. Um, <clears throat> it's a variable helix, a tapered core, eccentric um, relief just to reduce mm -hmm. vibration in the harmonics. Um, yeah, it's a very affordable price and we've also got the promotion on at the moment until the end of the year to 2022. Okay, so if we look at the tool, there's, um, there's a lot of m in the market, clearly. Yeah. Uh, ITC aren't all about price, you're about performance as well. So how, how does this compete to other m in the market? We're, this, we're, talk, we're, we're calling this a universal tool, right? Yeah, so it kind of, kind of work in all applications, but I, I guess I would tend to use it more for your trachoidal kind of strategy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it kind of works as well as the competition and it's a, a very affordable price, especially when with the promo, um, it was also available in the next version, Radius and Shamford for strength, corner strength. So ITC and with you, you've got a huge range of solid carbide tools. So where does this fit within that portfolio? Yeah, that's right. So this sits in between the GP and the very more extreme. So the GP, we've also got a promo one, but that would just be for your conventional standard kind of milling strategies. The variable um, WCE4 would be for your trachoidal kind of strategies. And if you wanted to go that step again, further you'd go with the very more extreme so regardless from a small shop and, and, and on price sensitive you go for a gp yep. and you've got the full blown for the top end and this is in the middle yeah yeah that's right it's, this kind of sits perfectly in the middle kind of if you want a little bit more performance then if you don't want to go full hog then this is kind of a good starting point and how about the machining conditions do i need do i need a heavy robust 40 50 taping machine or you know how about my work holding is, is it a user-friendly tool is what i'm trying to say does it need to be stable conditions ideally in an ideal world you'd want the best work holding the best conditions but we know that's not always the case um but yeah you can use this across the board really you just have to dial it in to, to suit your application and when we look at the range of this, how, how, where does it start and finish in terms of length and diam diameter ratios, things like radiuses as well? So we're two to three times D, available from three to 20 mil diameter. And it's also available with radius corners, uh, neck version and chamfered as well, as well as the square end. Mm -hmm. The primo is just for the square end at the moment. And this is stocked here in the UK, LITC? Yeah, all stocked in the UK, ready for next day delivery. Can't be bad. <laughs> so if you're interested in with your end mills, why not give these a try from the, the guys at ITC?